Hey Terraria fans, welcome back to another World Tour video, the series where I highlight some of the designs, the techniques, and the builds that I've made over the last few weeks. Now, if you are here recently, you would have seen our other builds that we showed off, and those were our NPC homes for the Guide and the Merchant. Well, today we're kind of continuing on that train, and we're going to show you two more NPC homes. Now, today's builds are for the arms dealer and for the nurse, arguably two of the most useful NPCs in the game. Now, I did have a few challenges while I was making these builds. And uh, speaking of that, if you guys actually want to see me struggle through that process live, you can do so on Twitch, guys. Link is down below. And I'm basically on every day of the week, except for Wednesdays and Sundays. Additionally, if you're enjoying any of the content on the channel, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, or uh, hit that little dinner bell thingy so you can know when the next video hits the old YouTube universe. So with that, a little bit of background and stainless self plugs out of the way let's get to the build shall we all right folks so as is tradition we're going to start with highlighting all of the materials now as you can see here we have quite a number of different materials now the only ones that are really unique to this build are probably going to be the copper brick wall as well as our green tiled wall now you know these are things i've used infrequently i mean i use them probably as much as i use iron brick wall or copper plating wall but they're just a little bit more unique to some of the builds i've been doing you'll also notice some orange stained glass now you can use any stained glass i just don't use them that often so i'd highlight those as the most interesting now, again, I encourage you to pause the video here and take a closer look at any of the materials. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment down below and I will get back to you. All right, so with the materials covered, let's get to the build. All right, folks, so here we are at the arms dealer's home and uh, yeah, there's a lot going on here and we're gonna start with where we're standing on right now. And I don't really know what this is. I just decided to design a sort of a walkway up the hill because I did not want to destroy the terrain. So I started with this when I was first doing the build and I kind of want to make this little tower. And you know, it's interesting because it uses a lot of different materials. We have our iron brick wall painted gray in the background. We have some uh, spooky wood wall also painted gray. And it just kind of has a really cool effect or that kind of looks like this is in the foreground, and I just like the way it looks. We also uh, decided to add some lizard brick. Um, these are some torches, I believe, or some candles, I should say. Uh, and I don't know, it just kind of all fit together. I also wanted to add a bit of metal to this build, so we went with the plating here as well, and this is painted gray. The roof here is just a combination of your red and blue painted shingles. Now, I don't know if this is the red one here or the blue one, but this insert here is gonna be painted gray, and then here we have the black, and it adds some nice contrast, and you know, I think we could have done a little bit more with this, uh, but this was something that I really didn't want this to be obviously the focus of the build. And, uh, you know, I think it adds enough detail and feels like it's sort of part of the build without really drawing the eye. Now, over here, you can see we've got a lot going on, and that's because I wanted something that was really kind of just disjointed and yet functional. So we went with our sort of standard outlining of the house where we use wood, some ebonstone brick, and some palladium column painted gray, but I decided to add a lot of metal inserts. Now, I really like the way this turned out. We have a palladium column here that's actuated and I believe also painted gray. Kind of looks like it's just sort of holding up about a bit of this outside part of the house, and it just has a lot of sort of detail that I like. It's a little bit closer on this side I kind of wish I'd change this out but we kind of continue this pattern throughout and you can sort of see that we have a lot of these sort of metal inserts all over the house and I just think it adds a nice little feature and sort of fits the sort of rustic nature of what we would see in the arms dealer uh, but here it's supposed to look like you're seeing into the attic we have an old loom that's all dusty we have some sort of cobwebs and you know just added some planks on an angle here and I think it has a pretty good shape but I don't know let me know if you think that looks sort of 3d ish or that it looks like you're looking into a roof because some Sometimes my eyes plays tricks on me and I'm not really sure. Now, the other thing I do like is adding some of this, I believe this is gonna be some metal or brass shelf. Uh, one of the shelves anyways, a metal, I think it's a metal shelf. Uh, and this is painted brown and just kind of looks good in this design, sort of stands out a little bit. Uh, and then we come to the main centerpiece here, which is sort of like, again, a countertop where you might buy some of the materials. Um, and yeah, we just have different sort of bullets and uh, you know, sort of things that you can purchase. And I, I think it has a pretty good feel to it. Now this is supposed to be the sort of basic counter, the where everyone goes to buy all of their goods. Down here, however, we have something a little bit different, which we'll get to at the end. Before we check out the mystery room, let's just cover the rest of the build. So here the roofing, guys, was very different. I mean, this is super unique to anything I've ever made. I think it doesn't quite hit the effect I was looking for, but I do think it has some potential if we had made a few tweaks. Now you can see the copper brick wall in the background. I believe this is painted uh, black here, and it looks fine. 
Um, you know, having the gray inserts here could have been done a little bit more cleanly, uh, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. It's definitely different, and we decided to go with that orange um, glass wall here, and you know, it's, it's not bad. Orange stained glass wall is not something I use often. I just didn't want something super bright, and it kind of has that kind of glowy effect that we're looking for. Uh, the other thing you'll notice here is, again, we kind of went with a separated um, roof here, which we did in the other builds we've done. It looks pretty good. I really do like these metal inserts here. They kind of just really sort of make the build come together for me. Uh, I do wish maybe I'd put some platforms in here on either side just to feel like they're connecting more into the sort of first piece of our mahogany wood here. But again, overall, not too bad. Uh, and speaking of the mahogany wood, I think we could have added a few more details and maybe some texture by just breaking this up and not using solely mahogany for the entire roof. Maybe adding, you know, some spooky wood or just something else just to break it up and add some texture. Now, as I was saying, this is sort of the normal area where people would go to purchase their goods. But we have another sort of secret area that we want to go check out. And, uh, you know, this is where uh, the big boys go to buy all their guns. So we decided to make a secret room down here. Uh, and this was a lot of fun to make. Very simple, but I just like the structure. Again, we could have gone crazy with this and really like made this a lot more expansive and feel a bit more like a bunker. Now, for the design of this, we kept it really simple. And we went with some copper plating painted gray for the sort of I guess, outline of this and the foundation of all this. Then we added added some inserts here uh, in the floor, which I actually like the way these look. So these inserts are simply going to be some spooky wood painted brown. And then we did the same sort of spooky wood vertically as the wall here in the background painted brown, as well as some actuated spooky wood going here for support. And again, it's got a kind of a cool feel to it. Uh, we kind of went with some texture here with the green tiled wall, as well as some ebonstone wall painted gray. And then we added some more of our iron wall here in the background, just as the base layer. Uh, and again, you can see it's kind of cluttered, which is what I was going for. Uh, we could have added some chairs and some other stuff, of course, but um, you know, I wanted to make sure that no random NPC moved in here. So keeping it pretty simple, but again, functional for our purposes. And I just think it's a kind of a cool little addition to the room. Um, I think normally you might want to just add this as a direct pathway uh, by having like a place you can fall down or like a ladder or something, but I went with a teleporter and I'm pretty happy with the results. One last thing to note is that we went with some custom clouds and I actually really like the way these ones turned out. Um, I think this is sort of the design I'm sort of settled into these days with the clouds I've been making. Uh, and it's really simple to do, but looks pretty good and adds a bit of detail. And with that, I think we are done with this build. If you have any questions about any of the elements or designs that I went with, guys, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. And with that, let's move on to the second build. All right, folks, so here we are at the second build. And as always, we're gonna start with all of the materials. So in this one, we have a ton of different materials and a lot of them are actually fairly unique. Now, you'll see right away, we use some adamantite beam wall. We use some hellstone brick wall. We again use that copper brick wall like we did in the build for the arms dealer. We also went with some midnight confetti wall for some TV screens, some blue slab wall. We have some silly pink balloon wall, both green and pink. We also have some purple or rain wallpaper as well as some cobalt brick walls. So these are all a bunch of walls that I do not traditionally use. And it's good to do this and experiment. And overall, I think this worked out pretty well, but let me know what you think once you see the build, if you think uh, these were good or bad choices, because I, you know, I think they're pretty interesting, but not something I use all the time. As always, I encourage you to pause the video here if you want to take a closer look at any of the materials that we used. All right, so with the materials covered, let's get to the build. All right, folks, so welcome to the nurse's clinic. Uh, yeah, you can see there's a lot going on here. And like I said, even though we're using a lot of white and gray colors, we had to use a lot of texture to add some of that design and some of that interest. So as you can see, the very first room we have in here is kind of our pharmacy, where I decided to add a lot of potions and kind of go a little bit crazy. But before we even get to that, let's talk about this massive sign. So we're using a lot of different stuff here. Again, we use, I believe this is where we use some of that adamantite here, uh, the adamantite wall, which we don't normally use. We use a couple of platforms as well. I believe these are stone platforms uh, just to kind of make it look more structured. Then we use some gem spark in the background. We use a whole lot of actuated blocks, some glass, and some gem spark, some red gem spark, as well as I believe this is some Martian conduit right here, as you see it glows. And yeah, it's a very interesting and unique design for a sign. A lot of times people are going to be tempted to build the red cross symbol that's very typical for a hospital, and that's totally fine. I actually have mine on this side, um, as you guys can kind of see. Uh, but here I wanted to make a big sign that added a lot of sort of interest to the build. 
Now, for the main design of the, all the rooms, you can see we kind of went with some very flat colors, and that was a bit of a problem for a lot of what we were doing here. So here we can have uh, a closer look at the cobalt. Behind the doors, we actually went with that copper brick wall. And then down here, we went with some silly pink balloon. Uh, I believe this is the pink, and then this is the green or vice versa, and this is painted white as well. For the main area here, I wanted to make sort of a lobby or waiting room or the front desk, and uh, yeah, we kind of kept it really simple. I decided to add a couple of music boxes here, as you can see, they all play and do stuff. Um, I just thought it was kind of a nice little add here. It looks pretty good, and it's a feature I should probably use a bit more in my builds because they actually look really good on shelves. I typically use a lot of books and a lot of jars or cups, so uh, these are things that I think I'm gonna be using a bit more often. Now coming to the second floor, you're gonna see a lot going on here. You can see our purple rain wallpaper here is also painted white as the base for every sort of floorboard here, and it looks pretty good. Another cool little feature you can see is this bed. I believe this is the granite bed, and I don't know, just painted this sort of cyan color. It just really sort of stands out and is really interesting. You can kind of see the pattern on it, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's a cool little feature. But the bigger feature is definitely gonna be this window where, uh, yeah, they kind of took me a lot longer to make than I care to admit. We went with the very kind of classic design here, but we tried to do it with a bit of a rounded look to it. So here we just have some glass that we painted white and then angled uh, to sort of fit the shape, connecting into some cog that is also painted white and uh, just kind of made a bit of a metallic sort of insert and shape that looks like it's supported. Now this is hammered down into the bottom position just to sort of blend in a bit better. Now here we went with the glass wall with some glass block in front of it uh, and then hammered them into position but that hammering took quite a while to get right so that I really like the way it looked and we managed to get that shape across all three windows um, again not hard to do it's just a little bit tricky if you've never done it before so some different design you could try uh, but definitely uh, a little more time consuming than one might expect and the final feature I want to cover is the roof. Now, before we even get to the actual roofing part, uh, you can see the sort of ceiling here is separated like we did in some of our other builds with our uh, white painted mahogany going across, it connects into the cog. But here you can see our Hellstone brick wall is here painted white as well as our uh, normal brick wall, or if it's not painted white, it might be gray, but you know, it just so it's supposed to look like a bit of background. Now for the roof itself, we just have some Dynasty shingles painted brown, uh, but I really like the way these inserts fit into the build. There's a lot going on with just that design and squaring it off here and kind of sort of just cutting it back in, putting the inserts and just having it be just more interesting. And, you know, we didn't want to have a really like modern look. We wanted this clinic to feel like fairly well used, kind of old, but still clean. And I think having this roof feel a little bit more like a, almost like a terracotta kind of roof really actually helps the build out quite a bit. Now, the one thing I did want to highlight was a little bit of the wiring that we did in here. And there's a lot just for these to work. As you can see, each one lets me go down to the bottom floor. I can go up a floor, down a floor, second floor. This will take me to the top. This will take me down. You know, yeah, there's a lot going on with these. And this was really tricky to wire. I'm really bad at wiring. So if you guys are good at wiring, this is probably a joke. But having four teleporters that actually work properly to go to whatever floor I want and that maybe release and that maybe release a couple of surprises for you when you use it. It's kind of fun, um, and it's kind of cool that it worked, but again, if you were there when I was building this live on Twitch, you would have known how long this actually took, and it's kind of sad. All right, folks, so there you go. There are our custom-designed NPC homes, one for the nurse and one for the arms dealer that are now done. Now, I don't know if any of you realize, but I don't really love all of the elements of each of these builds. However, as you do know, I don't like to change anything after the fact because I believe it's a really good way to see progress as you continue to build. Of course, that being said, do let me know which of these builds was your favorite. And if you are enjoying any of the content or any of the builds I've been highlighting here on this channel, feel free to go check out some of the other videos to see if that might inspire you for one of your next builds. And with that, guys, we're done. So thank you so much for watching until the end. And as always, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. We will see you in the next one.